This cult leader, pedophile, and Netflix star was found guilty of two counts of child sexual assault in 2011. Warren Jeffs had 78 wives, and 24 of them were minors. And 29 of Jeffs' wives had been married to his father. Thank God he got life in prison plus 20 years. From kidnappers to crime lords, terrorists to cult leaders, we're counting down the most dangerous people alive today. Cody Wilson uploaded blueprints for 3D printable weapons. They've been downloaded 100,000 times. But it wasn't the alleged arms dealing that got him into trouble. No, Wilson was sentenced to seven years probation for sexually assaulting a child. He still walks the streets as a registered sex offender. This guy is called Diabolical. How appropriate. In the early 1990s, he took part in a string of bombings that killed innocent bystanders. He's still wanted for 50 murders, although he's been on the run for three decades. Can you think of anyone else who deserves to be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. His real name is Mokhtar Belmokhtar. And if you don't like the nickname he got for smuggling cigarettes, he's also known as the One-Eyed because he has, wait for it, one eye. He's responsible for the deaths of 40 hostages and has been sentenced to death twice, but there's one problem. He's also earned the nickname the Uncatchable. This man leads the Lord's Resistance Army. It's a guerrilla group responsible for kidnapping children. These children become sex slaves or soldiers. Kony is still wanted for his crimes against humanity, but his whereabouts are unknown. This Ukrainian-born Russian is said to be the boss of all Russian mafia syndicates around the world. Although he's involved in the drug trafficking and contract killings you might expect of a mobster, that's not what makes him so dangerous. He also trades nuclear material and cozies up to Vladimir Putin. This former Texas cab driver shot and killed both of his daughters in a supposed honor killing. His older daughter dated a boy who was not a Muslim, and Saeed believed that had brought shame to his family. He spent 12 years on the FBI's most wanted list before finally being caught in 2020. Despite all of this grimness, murder rates around the world declined for a while. The number of homicide victims in North America and Western Europe dropped by 46% between 1990 and 2016. But in 2020, homicides spiked over 36% in the United States. Ugh, now back to our countdown. This deadly doctor led the Egyptian Islamic Jihad, which merged with Al-Qaeda and tried to overthrow Egypt's government. He's charged with bombing three U.S. embassies. Although he's not camera shy, he still hasn't been caught. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $25 million for information. And who's the baddest of them all? It's Joaquin Arcavaldo Guzman Lora, commonly known as El Chapo. This infamous narco committed so many crimes that we'll just list some of them here. He allegedly bribed a president had someone killed for refusing to shake his hand, killed his cousin, buried a man alive, had a murder room in one of his many mansions, routinely raped underage girls, and escaped from prison twice. El Chapo is now locked up in Colorado in the highest security prison in America.